Before we start this episode, we want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Are you ready for the big day? Yeah! Good morning! <laughs> Good morning! Today is gonna be a huge day. What are you gonna do today? We are gonna go out to try the engine for the first time. Finally! I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together, we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. What's going on? Fred was missing helping us, so he's just helping us to connect the power, the energy on the engine, because the guy that's installing the engine, he's doing the mechanical part, he's not responsible for the electrical part. So now we have the negative already connected, we have the positive being connected right now, and then we are ready to fire the engine, but we need the technical, you know, we need the mechanical here too. And we have yeah. our fire. official electrician. Yeah, I mean like, it's <laughs> not that we couldn't, we could fire the engine now, but he's doing the service so we cannot touch, otherwise if something goes wrong, it's our fault and he was hired for that, so we need to wait for him, but soon he's gonna be here and we're gonna fire the engine, hopefully. Backstage need to go back in place because that's where backstay. it belongs. Go backstage. I think the feeling of going to the water this time is different from the other one because now we are actually close to sail. Yeah. The last time we went to the water, we knew we were going to go to the water to spend like two, three, four months on the water here doing other things. Now, it, now we just need to test systems, test the engine, test the sails, trim the mess, and we're ready to go. I would, I would predict something in between two to three weeks. That's what my prediction. Yeah, we need to install some essential equipment first and test the sails and engine and everything. Yeah. We're gonna try to install as many electronics as we can. If we don't yeah. finish, we might set sail without all the electronics. No, just the mandatory ones. But yeah, at least VHF. But yeah, we will we'll try to install also the we will try. radar. We're gonna outside. show you what we can do. <laughs> Meanwhile, the weather today is perfect. I'm not sure if it's the weather, if it's because I'm really happy, but yeah, it's the perfect. weather is it's not cold, it's not hot, it's just like perfect. fresh. And I think you were right. I think. Just being on the channel, the breeze is different. Back on the hard, there's too many boats around together and there is no like, you know, fresh breeze. No, it's just like... Yeah. For now, it's good. We're gonna wait for Zeb because this week our goal is to do a sea trial for the engine and also a sea trial for the sails and that means when we go out for the sails, the sail maker is gonna go with us to try the sails and just check if everything's okay. And also Zed, that's the guy that installed our mess because he's gonna trim the mess finally because we need to have sails in order to properly trim the mess. The mechanic is here. Now it's official, they are here. We are gonna start to finish the installation of Kelly. Kelly can't wait to talk to us. She wants to talk to us today. but we had a broken head <laughs> yeah, the, head. the toilet was broken and we never tried after we supposedly fixed it we fixed on the dry we believe we did but are you sure you want bad news right on the first two hours yeah. on the water yeah Let's i hope this. it's not bad news so first step is to open the valves this time this time <laughs> this one is open this one is open and now the truth are you sure yeah one last chance not to make no, a mess no we need to try it. so it seems that the problem is still there right it's impossible it's we didn't okay. fix it but i think it no something yeah, but if we need to... There was something else. No, there was something weird. Now it's fine. Might be air. No. Let's empty this. 
We have a toilet. Yes, it did work. We didn't want to give you a third episode about <laughs> the head. It's just too much about a head. But we did fix on the drying. I think it's, it's, it's ready. Can I use it? Now you can go. But don't forget, you need to open the valves when you use the toilet. Thanks, babe, for the have reminder. <laughs> What's the plan? The plan now is to start candy for the first time. But mm. we still need to take these connectors out of because we need to go through the pipe and we cannot do that in a hurry because it's a really delicate thing to do. But for now, it's gonna be just a temporary connection just so you can start for the first time the engine. Excited? Yeah. So let's do it. Now, we need to do the other end. Let's see if the panel at least writes it up. This noise is because we are just, you know, the panel is on, but we are not starting the engine because we are waiting for the pump to pump diesel from the tank all the way to the engine. So the first time we are not going to start the engine, we are going to try to start three times without starting for real because we need to fill up the head with oil. The oil needs to circulate because it's been sitting for like five months, so... Now it's for you. The engine is Tem working. Água aí no filtro? Let's wait for the water to fill up the system. Let's check if water comes. Come on, water. Coming, it's coming, coming. I can feel it's coming, I can feel it's coming. We have water now. And that's really, really, really good. Great news. That's exciting. Kelly is talking for the first time. Let's go inside and check. It's so cool to see all the water coming through the hoses and everything working. <laughs> Just thanking Kelly. Thanks Kelly for being awesome and behaving well with <laughs> us today. Kelly didn't do anything wrong today. I mean, I did a little bit. <laughs> Everything went smooth. The only little leakage we had was on the exhaust hose. One of the clamps I didn't tie enough, so it was like a little small leak. I just tied it up, we tried again, and 100% leak free right now. And that's just really cool. We just took the electrical wires off again and Osamo the guy that is installing the engine is gonna take to his shop he's gonna disconnect all the connections and then For tomorrow us to pass through these pipes yeah that's the only problem because we cannot fit inside of this pipe with the connector so he's gonna unassemble the connectors tomorrow he's gonna arrive back and we're gonna pass through here and install do the final installation and we are gonna go out <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, tomorrow, supposedly, supposedly, I only believe when I see it. But supposedly <laughs> tomorrow we're going to do a C trial for the engine because we need to do that as a technical delivery so we can sign up and have the two years warranty. Can I be honest? Yeah. We just didn't do it today because we lost the shaft key. Yeah, the shaft. The helm. Yeah, the shaft key for the steering wheel. There is a tiny shaft key that, you know, we took the helm to Reginaldo's office and we brought back and somewhere in between we lost it. So they're gonna make a new one by today. tomorrow, <laughs> and tomorrow we can go out. We were supposed to go today, but yeah, tiny, tiny little problem that is literally like, yeah, tiny ones, like this big problem. <laughs> but the good news is tomorrow we're gonna go out, and then the day after we are probably gonna go out for trying the sales. That means to gonna put be, in place. Yeah, but that's gonna be another episode. Yeah. Not yeah. We need to you know baby steps. This week is going to be a busy week for us, really, really busy. And now we are just counting the clock because our intention is to stay two weeks on the water here. And then, untidy life, new life. Yeah, <laughs> see you tomorrow when we start, you know, slowly getting out of the marriage. Tomorrow is the first time I think it's going to be a successful mission because last time we went out, the engine didn't behave very well, mm -hmm. but the engine wasn't Kelly, you know, Kelly is much yeah, yeah, more... Yeah. Polite. Polite and educated. <laughs> and she, she, yeah, she, she's a lady. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> well, we changed our minds. We were going to take the rest of the day off, but we feel like doing other things. So I'm going to go up the mess so we, I can measure. I need to measure the height of the lazy jack because we want to install the lazy jack as soon as possible to install the sail, the main sail, and have a bag to hold the sail because the sail is brand new and it's really strong the fabric is still not you know like really hard to fold and it's really hard to keep in place without the lace bag it's so really i'm gonna go hard. <laughs> yeah it's really hard so i'm gonna go up the mess and at least measure today it's the beginning i can measure the height and then we can prepare the cables and can we can install the lace jack yes now we have the measurement we take this measurement of the measurement of the boom and now we know exactly because we need we have like four uh spots to tie a nut on the lace bag so we need to create it's gonna make sense just don't worry it's gonna make sense i promise <laughs> what's this let's hope for the best we need to pass all these wires together with the main wire from the engine panel so what do we have there electronic compass autopilot controller positive for all the electronic panel because we are gonna have three or four buttons to it switches just switches and then we're gonna have a breaker inside of the boat so that means we're gonna have a switch for the compass for the light for the compass for the stern light for the cockpit light and the negative for the compass for the light so if we manage to put all of this up the tube the pipe we are good to go but <laughs> wish us luck did you say about the horn <laughs> yeah one of the red ones is the horn <laughs> so afraid <laughs> yeah if we did couldn't do that that means that we would need to pass through here no. with the quadrant cable I didn't want to do that I love when you have an idea and in the end it works because sometimes <laughs> it's just you plan 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 you think and then it doesn't work this one's gonna work that's pretty good oh by the way have this other one that was already here this one is for the short plotter controller if we did that properly we didn't have time we needed to run the wires and leave here and then just but now I don't want to cut and need to create a connection so we're going to need to pass all these wires all the way to the panel and then we cut. We want to leave this organized so we can try the engine soon. So I need to try to organize as best as I can. Oh, but wait. Good luck. Now it's for real. Kelly is ready. Yeah, Kelly is 100% ready to go out and to try to you know go for a sea trial the only thing is missing is the weather <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean we need to be a little bit patient uh, Osamu the guy that did the installation of the engine had a cancer surgery a week and a half or maybe two weeks ago so he's you he, how you say yeah we can write somewhere yeah he, he cannot <laughs> his, get his sick system. <laughs> his system needs to be strong he cannot get sick and today is a little bit rainy and cold so he prefers to wait until the weather gets better and we do agree because you know healthy first 
but at least now everything's ready only this mess we can do that after we go for a sea trial it's fine or we can start doing it now because it's rainy i would say you can do it now <laughs> yeah, i think it's a good job for when it's rainy because i can edit and you can do this yeah, so i'm gonna try to run all these wires to the electrical panel and this is gonna stay here because this is nimea 2000 we're gonna have a few connections for nimea 2000 here we need to just get this sorted out yeah let's do it good luck for me Almost done. Not 100, not 100, but we are close. So here, all the wires are organized. We have conduits for everything, and coming down. This is the wire for the not the wire, the you know, leash. Leash. Yeah, this is the leash for the engine panel. That's huge. It's so long, and we there is nothing we can do. We cannot cut. So we need to go up and down, up and down, up and down many times until we run out of wire, and then comes to the engine. All this is organized, and now all we need to do is to connect these three NIMEA 2000 cables with this one and create like three T's on the ceiling here. But in order to do that, we need to create this tip because we mm -hmm. are going to cut this NIMEA. This is a kind of NIMEA that we can create the connector, and i never done this before, so it's really delicate. So we're going to leave for a little bit later. We're going to do something mm -hmm. else on, on the panel now, and also we need to run this wire that way because this one is gonna go to the cockpit arch and in order to do that it needs to go all the way back to the head up to the ceiling back to here and then out on the cockpit and all the now, wires that were here are here to be some on the panel not on this on this panel and others are gonna go all the way back because we have the horn and the stern light and these wires need to go straight all the way to the stern arch but that's gonna be in the future we're gonna leave inside of here when we decide to do that we have the wires ready but for now we are gonna go up and work on this because we almost finished down but not here <laughs> so here we still need to connect the NIMEA connectors because I took out in order to pass through the pipe so I need to install it back ready Autopilot is ready. That's pretty good. Yeah, so just auto this part, but it's yeah, all good. I mean, it's it's something. It's <laughs> something. This one is actually for the electronic compass. That's gonna be probably, hopefully, it will fit on the lid, behind the lid, like somewhere around here. We need to organize this a little bit better, but we didn't install yet, so we're not gonna <laughs> do that today. We're just gonna seal this to make sure we don't have humidity here. That's good. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Electronics, I don't know if you noticed, but we are doing like in baby steps. Every time we have a spare time, we do that. Not that we have spare time all the time, but today was rainy and we couldn't go out for the sea trial of the engine, so we decided to start organizing, organizing this, part. this part. But now I'm gonna just seal this with tape, just to make sure we don't have humidity on the ends, and then we're gonna leave inside. And then we are gonna do the connections downstairs on the engine room. Good luck! So the idea here is to have these three connectors to these three NIMEA 2000 cables that are coming from the helm that we just did on the top. So I'm gonna connect them all to here. And this one is the one that connects to the beginning of the T-bone that goes to the nav station. But I need to cut this one because this one is a little bit too long and as we can make the connection I can cut, but I never done this by myself. The other ones I just open and connect again. I didn't cut the right wire on the right length and blah, but we'll do that. But let's start with the easy part. Let's just connect this to check how much wire we need. And this is also the end of the NIMEA 2000. Yes, this is the end. So we need to have a cap here on the end. Feels so good to finally start installing all these. Yeah. <laughs> 
At one point we need to do. Connect to here. And this one connects to here. Great. And we are good to go. Scary moment. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta, gotta do. do. How nervous are you? Yes, a little bit, but we have some slack on the back. If something goes wrong, we still can pull it more this way and then okay. call someone to help us. <laughs> I think I can do it. <laughs> Hope it works. <laughs> yeah, we won't find out later, not now, but at least it seems like exactly as it was. Seems pretty good. Let's hope so. At least the order, I did exactly the same order. That's it, we have a connector, and now we can connect the last tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Wait. It's amazing how it's such a small mistake can give you so much trouble and work. By mistake, we put the end of the Nimea 2000 cable the wrong way around. So where we were supposed to have a female, we had a male, and the other side the same thing. In two of the cables, the one that go from the cockpit to the nav station and from the nav station to the engine room. So we didn't film that because the same thing, you have seen that before, but that was seriously three hours of extra work. That was just so much work because it's such a tight conduit that it was really hard to take the wires out and put them back in. But luckily we managed to do it and we can move on now. Are you ready for the big day? Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Today is gonna be a huge day. What are you gonna do today? We are gonna go out to try the engine for the first time. Yeah, in order to have the warranty on the engine, we need to go out with the guy from Yammer that installed our engine and he needs to test the engine for like one to two hours to make sure everything's okay and we warm it up the engine. And after that, we are free to use the engine as whenever we want. And that means also that today we're gonna go out the channel. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Finally! <laughs> so before we leave, preliminary checks. We need to check if the valve is open. Water valve for the engine is open. And now we need to check oil, fluids, everything. Now we are ready! <laughs> What's happening? We thought it was gonna be a really sunny day today to go out and to film with the drone. We even called our friend to fly the drone because Fred's out of town, the official pilot. So our second pilot, well, second but important one, he is in town. So we call our friend to film, but unfortunately it's rainy. So we're not gonna be able to film with the drone, but we're gonna be able to go out with this cover. You know that you put the rain cover because it's going to stop raining as soon as we finish this, it's going to stop raining. <laughs> That's something that I'm really sure. <laughs> so Murphy's like, lying. Yeah. Now <laughs> we're ready to stop. Yeah. See, it's not raining anymore. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, it happens. Ready? Let's go. The rain is heavier now. <laughs> Now it's for real, time to go, power the panel, start the engine.
let's do this. Before I go out with Kelly for the first time, we want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Yeah, it's been such a long time we want to have a new website. Yeah. And Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that gives you all the tools to build yourself your own website without any prior experience. You can build a blog, you can build a portfolio, even an online store. That's just awesome because for us, it's just all we need because we don't know how to do that. So we are taking in baby steps as everything we do. Right now, on we are, we are on step one, trying so many new templates and checking to see which one is better fit for us. And after that, we're gonna start building our new website. And in like one or two weeks, we're gonna share with you the template we chose and see what you think. But if you want to build your own website, your own online store, just head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you're ready to launch, whenever I'm not pressuring you, but whenever you're ready to launch, <laughs> You can go to squarespace.com forward slash oddlifecrafting and you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's great, actually. Yeah, we can have this similar websites. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. You choose a different one, of course. Yeah, we, we don't there, need to have exactly the same. There are so many options. Yeah. But now it's time to start, Kelly. Yeah, let's go out. First time maneuvering with the new engine. the marina but now we are gonna go to a special spot we are gonna see it soon Parking the boat by ourselves. To set for mission. Yeah. 
That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> this noise is just the blower because we take the hot air from the engine room. It's actually good for the winter. It's really warm. <laughs> it's pretty good. Look at this. <laughs> All the doors are open. No leaks. It's a little bit warm. This is just warm. It's not hot that I can't touch. And this. This is actually cold. A lot of people were concerned that the connections we did for the exhaust system w were gonna be all hot and we could burn wood and all and everything, but it's kind of cold actually. It's great. <laughs> How just, excited are you? We just want to thank Kelly. Kelly, thanks so much for behaving well. The only little leakage is from this top because this vibrates too much. I think we're gonna take this from here and install here because it's gonna vibrate less, but that's just one drip of the coolant and that's fine. We just install here, it's gonna stop vibrating and it's perfect. And we also need to thank, thank you, my friend, thank you. He didn't leak, not even one drip of oil and water and anything. That means, Reginaldo, you are awesome. Thanks so much for helping me to learn about this system and learn how to assemble this system because this whole mess of six months of lifting the board and replacing the engine, everything started with this seal. And proud. Working perfectly. Are you happy? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, now we need, like, we deserve, I think, like, maybe one hour of rest and food. And then we can start thinking about what we need to do because next week we are gonna try the sails. And in order to do that, we need to install the lazy jack. We need to install Everything the main sail in place. We have a, yeah, a lot of things about the sails coming up, and that's so exciting because I think maybe, hopefully, in th by the weekend we're gonna be able to sail and we're gonna have some good wind on the weekend. Too many emotions for one week. But before we go, let's welcome on board our new patrons for this week. So, welcome on board Gary, Patrick, Ivan, Peter, RGB. Charlie. And we also want to thank some donations through our PayPal. Thanks so much, Larry. And Alejandro. As you can tell, we are not on the same spot anymore. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, we are in a really special spot, actually. Yeah. We are on the spot on the dock that was owned by Yaba. Yaba is our friend's schooner that when they were here in town, they were sitting exactly here. I mean, my round table on Yaba was exactly <laughs> here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for letting us use your spot on the marina. <laughs> See you guys next week. See you next Monday.